Hello everyone, this is Argon Matrix, welcoming you to episode 24 of The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. And Link just sneezed. Yeah, I know, Link. You're getting the cold, aren't you? God. Oh, there's a Deku scrub here. What are you doing in this cold mountain air, buddy? Thanks for stopping by. I'm doing business over here to focus on a Goron clientele. I'm sorry, but I can't do business with you if you're not at Goron. It's a regulation of the Business Scrub Association. It can't be helped. It hurts. I know. Oh, dude, no. Can can you talk to me if I'm one of your own kind? Like, come on, man. We're, we're gonna be Deku Scrubs. We're pals. We're bros. We're amigos. We're like family. Who'd have thought I'd meet a, De a fellow Deku in a place like this? I sell bomb bags, but I'm focusing my marketing efforts on Gorons. What I'd really like to do back is is go back home and do business where I get where it's I'm surrounded by trees and grass. But I can't open a business back home without following the proper procedures. Do you know what I mean? And he actually wants, I believe, the Swampland title deed. So, but we don't have that right now. And besides, I don't want him to... I don't want to give that to him until later on. Because he, he sells you something very useful later on. So, yeah. Okay, um... I don't think there's really anywhere else we can explore around here. Uh, no, I don't believe there is. There's, like, ice here that we can't get past, so... Uh, let's just head down to the end of the map. When all hope is lost, let's just go down here. Is that who I think it is up there? What? Oh, my God. Ah, uh, is this the last time we see you? I hope so. Hoot, <laughs> we meet again, fairy child. Have my stone statues been of help? Actually, yeah, thank you. Well, it seems you have the strength to change the fate of the land, as, as I had expected. But the road ahead is even more challenging. Many trials await you. Please watch over these Gorons around you. Their land is doomed to be smothered in snow and ice forever. It will become a land where no living thing can survive. God, you aren't you pessimistic? Without courage and determination, you surely will collapse from the extreme conditions. Not me. I'm Canadian, eh? But if that courage and determination burns bright within you, then th that's another story. So, will you proceed? Uh, I don't really have a choice, because if I choose no, then it's probably game over, and I won't be able to beat Let's Play. So, for, for your guys' sake, I'll do this. You are a child of many strengths. Well, perhaps you do have enough courage to change the fate of this mountain after all. I shall take the air to the air now, flying towards that shrine across the way, so follow behind me. Do not be daunted by appearances. Instead, let your feelings guide you, as the true path shall, and the true path shall open before you. Are you ready? Follow behind me. Don't be daunted by appearances. How cryptic. Does that mean appearance versus reality? I don't know. Random shadow there. What's that about? Oh, well. Okay, so he drops feathers here. Uh, this reminds me of, like, that mini game. I don't know if anyone ever played uh, Harry Potter for the first Harry Potter game for, like, the PlayStation. PlayStation! PlayStation! Oh, no, I drowned. I... What? Yeah, I don't care. Shut up. Yes, I will try again. Yeah. But, like, there's, like, one part of that where you have to, like, fall a stupid owl and, like, pick up fa feathers or something. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Uh, this guy must be getting old if he's losing all his feathers like this. Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. So, basically, this is what he means by don't be daunted by appearances. Because even though these feathers look like they're just floating in midair, they're really on invisible platforms. Hmm, I wonder if we'll ever be able to see these invisible platforms. Invisible platforms. Invisible platforms. Why do I suck at this? This isn't hard, is it? I don't think so. No, okay. Come on. This isn't too hard. Uh, oh, it's, you know what? It's probably because of these stupid bunny ears. That's it. I'm, like, overleaping the jump. And... There we go. That's better. Okay, over this way. And over that way. And where now? Over there? Okay. Over there! Over there! Over there! And booyah! Made it. And that's a very strange shadow you have there, Mr. Owl. What's that about? Boot, I have certainly been sure to your courage and determination. From here on, you must not be fooled by appearances. You must rely on your feelings. Now enter the shrine. Something that will aid you in your quest lies, in, what lies within. Use that item when returning from here. Uh, okay. I wonder what this could be. Inside this ice cavern. God. Oh, just a free chest. Free treasure. Yay. Lovely. What could this possibly be? I mean, come on. This isn't a dungeon or anything, is it? No. So, this is 
What? The lens of truth? Who would have seen that coming? Yeah, so, we should already know what this does, or, well, I do anyways, because of Ocarina of Time. But, yeah. Anyways, uh, okay. Oh, wait, 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 there's something back there. Cool, a chest. What's inside? It's a red rupee. Oh, whoa. Hey, hello. Hey, no. Come on. Thank you. That was annoying. Yeah, so, just like always, these, this lens of, the lens of truth drains your magic and stuff. Yada, yada, yada. And, yeah. Okay, is there anything behind any of these? Uh, there seems to be. There's a purple rupee. Amethyst. Lovely. And I'll just wait for the bomb mask to respawn. Come on. Come on. Come on. There you go. Watch it go boom! Uh, anything there? Hold on. Gotta get my lens of truth to make sure there's not a hidden chest or something. Nope. Okay. Whatever, man. Just whatever. Uh, okay. Yeah, I like this little area. Like, no, I didn't want to put on that. But I like this little area. Just like a random little cave with like light streaming in like that. Right on that chest. That's pretty awesome. Uh, I wish there were more areas like this in games. Sadly, there aren't. So. Okay, get our bunny ears again, because. We can't be without those. Those are like the most essential item in this entire game. And that's almost true. Okay. Oh god. And uh, yeah, now it's a lot easier to platform, even with the bunny ears, you can see. Hey, who's. What the? Hello? Um. So this is the thing that was making the shadow before. Can I, can I talk to him? Thank you. Can it be? Are you able to see me? If you truly can see me, then follow behind me. Uh, sure. Yeah, and by the way, you don't, uh, okay, whatever, I get it, I, I get it, dude, you're going that way. But you don't actually have to have your lens of truth on because you can just see a shadow, so don't waste your magic, just follow like this, follow the shadow. Uh, oh, are you going there? No? Okay, where are we going, buddy? Come on. Ah, oh, this is very tedious, it's like, it's almost as tedious as following that lady in Twilight Princess to get the fishing rod. But at least in that one, you don't have to follow her. In this one, you basically have no choice. Because you don't know where he's going to take you. Okay, yeah, die. Okay. You stupid tactites. I don't have time for you. Just get out of here. Well, what the? Okay. Uh, yeah. Where are we going, buddy, exactly? Are you taking me somewhere to rape me? I certainly hope not. Okay. And, oh, what the hell? Look, there's like the white wolf was like all squished up. That's hilarious. Oh my god, it was like squished against the snow. That was hysterical. Oh my god. I love that. I've never seen that before. Uh huh. And it only felt like a split second, too, so I don't even know if you saw it. If you didn't, you can go re try and rewind the video and see if you can find it, too. Oh, but that was so funny. It's like the squished Luigi, you know? Okay. Um, are you just taking me back to Clock Town? You're just like, no, you don't really need to be here in this mountain. Why, why don't I just like, why don't you just go back, go back, have some, have some nice like tea and scones, whatever. Yeah. Yeah, just let me roam, in in eternal limbo. I gotta go on in eternal limbo. Who'd have thought? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Don't fall in the ice water. Cause that could be bad. That could be bad. Or not. Apparently, it doesn't hurt you like I thought it did. Doesn't like isn't like all cold water in video games doesn't all hurt you. Oh jeez, come on. Can I climb on this one at least or something? Thank you. Well, I didn't really climb onto it. I just kind of teleported onto it. Oh no! Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, I should take off these bunny ears. There you no. Take off the bunny ears, Link. Take take them off. Okay, fine. Oh. How, what? I thought I could climb on this platform. Okay, let's let's just let's just regroup here. Take off the bunny ears. Start hopping. Uh, no, you can't hop that far, Link. Not without your bunny ears. Okay. Yes, this is the most challenging part in the entire game. So, I hope you enjoy it.
Uh, is there some? Is there? Can I make that? No. What? Is because it doesn't look like I can jump to any platform from there. I'm confused. Ah, oh, I'm sure the solution is right in front of my face, and you're just everyone's just like, dude, no. Okay, let me climb back onto this one, maybe. Oh, I get it. This one's actually moving. Okay. So I have to wait for its long, slow ass to move all the way over here. So I can jump over to this one and over onto here. Okay, I get it. Yeah. And there's hidden ladder here, as you can see. And you might want to just, like, tap the button like this just to see what you're doing. Because this, this way it doesn't actually waste magic. And you can still see, like, where you're supposed to be climbing. Okay, I think it's just, like, an alternating path and pattern, too. So it's, like, right, left, right, left, right, left. And then these long sequences where you just go straight up. Yeah. And... Come on. Up we go. Up we go, like new fallen snow. Oh, how appropriate. Okay. There's some Gorons freezing up here, and... And we're just following this guy into this new area. Where could this go? <gasps> what is it? Oh my god, it's a Goron graveyard. That's frightening. Are all these, like, tombstones, or are they just stalagmites that are very purple and ornate? Okay. Let's talk to you now. The Soaring One said who could see me who could see me would be arriving soon. It seems that it turned out to be true. I am Darmani the Third. The proud, the proud, the blood of the proud Goron heroes runs in me. This feels strange for me to say, but when I was alive, I was a renowned warrior and veteran. Yes, when I was alive, with my man boobs. God, look at that gash across his stomach too. That's just brutal. But alas, I am now dead. Yeah, facepalm. I was fine until I marched off to Snowhead by myself, hoping that I could drive off a demon. It had been wreck wreaking havoc on the Goron village. Then the blizzard and snow had blew me into the valley. And now, here I am. Well, that's unfortunate for you, because whenever I get blown into a hole or something, I just respawn at the top. So. What? Are you telling me that not everyone has that power? Oh my god. Link must be like a deity. As I am, I can only watch the Goron village just slowly buried, buried in ice. I have died, but I cannot rest. So, you can use the magic. The soaring one also told me that you are able to use it. I beg you, please bring me back to life with your magic. If it is beyond your power, then I beg of you to do this for me instead. Heal my sorrows, and do what you can do with- and, and any way that you can do will suffice. Please, heal my sorrows. And notice that highlighted word there, heal. That is a cue for you to play the Song of Soaring. No. Uh, just because you had said the Soaring one a lot doesn't mean you play that song. But, I'm going to leave you a bit of a cliffhanger here as to what song we have to play, even though I'm sure you know, but what will happen after we play that song. That's the tricky thing. Okay, so thank you everyone for watching. Until next time, this is Argon Matrix signing out. Thank you, and good night.